Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with one of my best friends, Hi. Hillary, and she is here visiting me from out of town and actually last Friday we went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios Orlando and we bought lots of candy. So today we are going to try tons of the Honeydukes candy from the Wizarding World for you guys today and then I thought we should rate them for you guys. So we're going to rate them one out of five wands, one being not so great, and then five being amazing. So we're gonna start that with you guys now. So the first candy we are gonna try is the Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans, which looks like this. The packaging is very beautiful. That's the one thing that they did spot on and perfect is the packaging is just so cute. So these are the Bertie Bots Every Flavor Beans. They retail for $10.95. We're gonna open them. And pick out a flavor, we're not gonna look. So, all right, Hills, pick out a flavor. Oh, mine's good. Mm -hmm. I think big I have red. candy. Hmm? Big, red, big red, like the cinnamon one? <laughs> yeah. I've got like a candy floss type one. These are like basically jelly beans. I would rate it three out of five wands, Hillary. I would rate it three wands mm -hmm. also. The next one is going to be the chocolate frog again packaging beautiful looks like this and this was ten dollars and 95 cents inside you get a whole chocolate frog of solid chocolate this is solid and then you also get a card and we got helga hufflepuff which looks like that and actually hillary is a hufflepuff oh perfect all right so we're gonna try this chocolate I'm assuming it's just gonna kinda of taste like milk chocolate, but you never know. All right, I'm gonna like bite off the foot. It's chocolate. Exactly. It kinda of just tastes like regular Hershey's chocolate or just kind of, uh, I mean, it's good. It's just a milk chocolate. Three out of five wands, I would rate that. Hillary's. I would also rate it three out of five. All right. So the first two candies are the most common staples that you can get at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The rest of the items are more like odd or exciting items. I have never tried these candies before and either has Hillary. So first I'm gonna pick up what they're called Jelly Slugs Wrigglingly. Wrigglingly, good? Ringlingly. Ringlingly? Ringlingly. Ringlingly good. So they look like this. Beautiful packaging, and these retail for $6.95. The jelly slugs are really, really, look. Okay, there they are. Oh, they're cute. Oh, they're scary oh, looking, aren't they? They look like. They really do look like slugs. All right, so like let's. Play-Doh. Here, pick one. I'll do a green one. Okay, so this is what they look like, guys. They're kind of cute. Ready? They smell weird, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, I know why mine smells weird. Mine's banana flavored. I think. Mine doesn't have much flavor. Neither is mine. It's very mild flavored and it kind of tastes like banana. Um. Okay, what would you rate those? I'd rate that about two. That's what I would rate it. I would give two it a ones. two. Two out of five. The next, which I'm super excited for, are the Fizzing Whizbees. Again, packaging is beautiful. And these are supposed to be made with chocolatey fizzy fruits. Hmm. I've heard they kind of have like pop rocks in them. I am so like upset sometimes opening these because I don't want to ruin the packaging because I'm a collector, so I like to keep everything so perfect. But for the sake of that's cute of packaging. the video and trying all the beautiful candy. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I always thought they were supposed to be like flies. They are. They're flies or bees, little bees. Okay, take your pick. I wonder if we're gonna eat all this oh, like after cute. the video. They are. Look at them. Oh, cute little bees. All right, the whole thing. Ready? The whole thing. Mmm. Hmm. I've got the pop wraps. The pop wraps are mm. popping. I didn't have pop wraps. 
Are there Would different you kinds? Did you yours already though? That might be why. Oh, you have it now? Yeah. But they don't taste fruity. I thought they'd be fruity. No. It's a, Lexi. My cat loves to drink my oh, water. Oh, that's like, so creepy. You. They're still popping. Those are really cool. They're not fruity. Basically, they taste like regular milk chocolate, right? With like a crunchy taste. Kind of like rice crisp crisp crippies. <laughs> rice krispies in your chocolate, but then they pop. So now I have like the pop rock sensation. Ooh, it's like still going. Mm -hmm. Those pop for a long time. Those are pretty good. I would rate those four out of five. Ones. Yep. I'm, mm -hmm. I don't want to do the same thing as you, but well, that's a, whatever four you out, think. Four out of five ones. Yes. They were pretty good. They were. They're fun. I think kids would love them. Yes. Okay, so next we have peppermint toads. I'm excited for this. I love pepperminty chocolate. What did I tell you guys how much the Fizzing Wispies retailed for? The Fizzing Wispies, by the way, retailed for $9.95, and the peppermint toads were $8.95. Oh my god, they are so cute. I seriously want all the little tins. They probably put them in tins and they like pour the hot milk, or I don't know how they make chocolate, but yeah, like the little baking tins to make them. Huh. My little toe does though. the mini version oh of the. Oh my god, they're the big cute. ones. Cute! Look at the little things. So adorable. Okay, ready? Mmm. Tastes like a peppermint patty. Yes, it does. Without I love those. I love peppermint and chocolate. I know there's a lot of people that do not like the mixture, but I love it. I think it tastes like a peppermint. Kind of reminds me of like a holiday. Holidays. Like Christmassy. It tastes like the peppermint mocha you order. Mm-hmm. Yes. Coffee. Very good. I would rate those four out of five wands. I would say five out of five wands. I really like those. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I thought you were going to do get that. It. I know. I really did like it. You know, <laughs> I was being too strict. Mm-hmm. Too tough. Okay. Next, which I'm excited to try is the exploding bonbons. Now these are orange and pineapple flavored bonbons. So I wonder how they've made chocolate taste orangey and pineapple-y or how that's gonna taste. A little nervous. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about these ones too. Oh, it's white chocolate. Oh, I love white chocolate. Uh, I'm not a fan. You're not? Nope. Okay, ready? This is interesting, I'm scared. Here we go. Oh. Why are they hard? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have some pack wraps. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> but what is so hard? <laughs> what? Mmm. I'm not a fan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you know what they taste like? No. Malt balls. The malt. Like the taste that's in it? Yeah. Mm. I kind of, I don't know. Like at first it threw me off. I was not expecting it to be super hard. Now I had the pop rocks going off, but. Ooh. Mm. I would rate that a three out of five. I do kind of like it because I like malt balls, which that kind of reminded me of it. Hillary? I would rate it a one. <laughs> not a fan. <laughs> She's not a fan. <laughs> All right, guys. So the next is probably the most intriguing. Kind of scary. Mm -hmm. It is called the Shock O Choc. Add some shock to your chocolate. Dark chocolate with chili powder. So this is what it looks like. The packaging's pretty cute. Yeah. So dark chocolate with chili powder. My guess, I think, I really do think it's going to be like, I think it's going to be good. I don't know, I'm nervous. I think I it's like gonna taste oh. like little bark. The pop rocks are still going off. Uh -huh. I really so. have a feeling it's gonna taste very dry with kind of like a spicy. Do you like dark chocolate? Yes, when it has peppermint in it. All right. So they come in these little bark pieces. Ready? Yeah. Oh wow, do you taste the, the spice? Mm -hmm. That is some spicy chocolate. You know what? They accomplished what they wanted to because mm. I'm not a fan, like I would not pick this up and want to eat it, but 
for what they tried to accomplish, dark chocolate and chili, I think they nailed it because that is spicy. Like that is spicy dark chocolate. And the dark chocolate's very, like it's a really rich, nice, yeah. like dark chocolate. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it anymore, but they did a really good job on this. So for the sake of the product and what they tried to do with the chocolate, I would have to give that a five out of five wands. Oh. I would, they nailed it. Because I was expecting the chili not to really come through and it just kind of be a piece of dark chocolate, but no, the chili comes through. What do you I think? would give it a four once. Mm. I like it. Yep. I like spicy stuff. And this I have never seen. These are little mints. They're actually called Tongue Burners Tooth Splintering Strong Mints. Okay, so I know they're probably just going to taste like mints, but I bought it for the purpose of the packaging. If, and what better way than to end this video with a mint because after all that chocolate and all the different, especially that chili, we could use some mints. So let's see what they look like. Okay, so they just look like tiny little white <laughs> little mints. Oh, I thought maybe they look like teeth or something. That would have been a cute idea. Well, those are pretty minty. They're good. Yeah. Strong mint. It's a mint. I would rate those, you know, three out of five. But again, I kept it for the packaging sake. Oh my gosh, did I tell you guys how much the chili chocolate was? $9.95 for this. The chili dark chocolate. And the mints, they did not put a price on their mints. So I'm really not sure how much these were, but I'm going to keep the tin forever and just transfer all my mints into this. Three. <laughs> three, yeah. Mm hmm all right, guys, so that is our video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any favorites for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter candies. And I'll see you guys again next Sunday. Bye! Bye.